Hi guys, this is Imran the Tech Guy here. Welcome back to my channel. And today we'll be unboxing the brand new Apple TV 4K with the brand new redesigned Apple TV remote. I'm super pumped for this. I can't wait to unbox it and see what it's like. All right, so I've got my knife ready. Let's uh, get this open. Before I continue with this video, you'll find links to the Apple TV 4K in the description below. But please like and subscribe. And if you have anything to say about the brand new Apple TV 4K, then please drop your comments below. I would love to hear what your thoughts are. Now back to the video. So there are two versions of the Apple TV 4K. This is the 32 gigabyte. You can also get the 64 gigabyte. I'll be leaving links in the description below if you're interested in that. So let's see what's inside. All right. First up is the Apple TV. Put that to the side to see what's else inside the box. And then you have the new redesigned Apple TV remote. I really like this actually. I'm happy they went back to the metal design. All right. Next up is the power port. All right. And then you have your paperwork and cable to charge your remote. So this does look like very similar to the previous model, except now it supports high frame rate HDR content. For those who already own an iPhone 12, you already know that you can record in Dolby Vision HDR. Now with the brand new Apple TV 4K, you will now be able to play back that content. So when you look at the back, you have the power port, the HDMI port, which now supports HDMI 2.1 and an ethernet port. But this is where things visually change. The new Apple TV remote. Right, I'm so excited about this one. I'm so happy to come back to the metal design. Alright, uh, I'm so sorry for people watching this. Okay, so Apple has gone back to the original metal design, but now they have removed the big trackpad that was found at the top. This remote is still touch enabled, but it now comes with an outer ring to allow users to use circular gestures. That turns into a dual control, perfect for scrolling through your movies or series, and still use it like a D-pad for precise control. Of course, you have the buttons to change the volume, and the Siri button has been moved to the side. And finally, they have the power button at the top so you can control the TV. Now, there is one feature that has been removed, which is motion control, so you won't be able to use the remote to play games, but you can connect your next-gen console to the Apple TV. Personally, it won't be a feature that we missed. I would prefer playing games with my console controller. I think it'd be so much more fun. As mentioned before, you do get a USB-A to lightning port to charge the remote, but sadly, you do not get HDMI cable, so be prepared for that. Now, let's get this hooked up. So I've gone ahead and connected the Apple TV 4K to the TV already. So let's try it out. English. I must say, I really like the gestures. You can also use the D-pad if you want to. Like everything else with the Apple ecosystem, you can set up your Apple TV with your iPhone and it's very easy. All you need to do, select setup with the iPhone and simply take your iPhone close to the Apple TV. Once you've done that, all you need to do is just press on setup and that's it, your Apple TV is now set up. You can also use your iPhone as a keyboard or a remote. There are some additional features that was added to the Apple TV 4K and it's pretty cool and simple too. Now, if you're watching TV and you don't have your TV collaborated to the right colors, you might not be getting the best viewing experience or getting accurate colors. I know for some people, getting the TV out of the box and connecting it up is enough for them. Or maybe you just don't know how to fine tune your TV. To be honest with you, I was really happy with my TV, how it looked when I first got it out of the box. Until I started playing with the color settings, and even the sound. I actually realized how much I was missing out. Now with the Apple TV, it does that all for you. It's super easy. And all you need is your iPhone and it takes only a couple of minutes. Now to do this, all you need to do is go to your settings, scroll down to video and audio, and then scroll down to color balance. 
Now, before I start this process, I'm gonna quickly explain how it all works. Apple TV uses your iPhone proximity sensors and front-facing camera to collaborate and balance your TV. So let's go ahead and do that. So make sure your front-facing camera is facing the TV and it should be about an inch away from the screen. And it's popping up with all these colors. It's just collaborating and fine-tuning your TV. And that's it. Your TV is now collaborated. We can also view the results. So let's check it out. So this is original and this is balance. Now here we can see the beach a bit more vibrant. It looks more natural as well. And I can say the same thing about the sea. And this is original. Now original looks like it's bleeding a little bit. It looks a bit too white for me. Now I know this is hard to see the difference with the camera, but this is something that you need to experience firsthand to actually see the difference. Apple have found a really interesting way to help viewers get that cinema look. And it's really good if you don't have a TV with Dolby Atmos. I personally don't, so I'm really happy to have this feature. Even if you have a high-end TV, I will still recommend doing this. It should improve your overall picture quality. Now, something to know, this does not fine tune your TV. It fine tunes the Apple TV for your TV. So for example, if I switch to my PlayStation 5, it won't be fine tuned. But if I go back to my Apple TV, it'll be fine tuned. So Tim Cook mentioned in the last Apple event how one of his favorite show is Ted Lasso. So let's check that out. But while we're here, let's test out the Siri. Play Ted Lasso. Let's see how fast it responds and plays the content. Looks pretty good so far. So it's just Adam, just gonna skip this. And cool, we're straight in. That was really good. I'm really impressed by the whole process. And when you're using the dual control, I do know when you're using the gesture straight away, it only skips about a minute and a half, two. Now to go further in your timeline, what you need to do is hold and then swipe. But make sure you see this icon in your timeline. And then you have full access to your timeline. Now I don't like you have to hold to have access to your whole timeline. I prefer you just having the access without even holding. But let me know in the comments below, what do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer holding it or without? Now, another tip is if you do have a 4K HDR TV, you can download the Red Bull app and play free 4K HDR content. Now, I will be doing more tests and of course doing my first impressions on the Apple TV, so stay tuned for that. You can also play music on your Apple TV, so let's see how that goes. Play J. Cole 95 South. Let's see how I personally think this is the best song in the album, but that's my opinion. And that's it, you're straight in, perfect. And he even comes up with the lyrics. Now, as mentioned before, you can connect your game console's controller to the Apple TV 4K. So let's test that out and play some games. Now, I've gone ahead and connected my DualSense controller to the Apple TV 4K. But if you don't know how to do that, you can always select how to pair game controllers and it'll tell you how to do that. Let's try Absol 8. See what it's like. I really like how smooth it is so far. It's been a really good experience. Let's test out the gameplay. Graphics looks good and it's quite responsive on the controller. So that was a small glimpse of playing games on the Apple TV 4K. Now, as mentioned before, I'll be releasing more videos on the Apple TV 4K and what's it really like playing games. Now, before I move on, you do also get access to Apple Arcade. Now, I know there are some really good indie games. I can't wait to try them out. And let me know in the comments below what your favorite game is on the Apple Arcade. Or if you have any recommendation, I would love to know what your thoughts are. Apple TV 4K now comes with Apple Fitness. And now, if you have Apple Watch, you can now directly connect it to your Apple TV. 
One thing to do now, if you have Apple TV built into your TV, you'll be missing out some of its features. For example, connecting your Apple Watch to the TV. You will need a standalone Apple TV 4K to be able to do that. I'll be releasing more videos on the Apple TV 4K and I'm super excited about that. And if you have enjoyed this week's video, then please consider smashing that like button. And don't forget to subscribe, you'll be missing out some fun content. Thanks for watching, this is Imad the Tech Guy, signing out.